the best way to explain our role is to analogize our role to uh, another entity that I think most people are familiar with, namely the White House Council. I think White House Council is to the president as we are to the mayor of New York City. There isn't a sensitive legal issue that comes before his desk that doesn't stop at my desk first. Um, whether it's uh, whether we're going to join the opioids lawsuit or um, an EEO matter, an enforcement matter relating to COVID, um, interpretation of any of the governor's executive orders, um, personnel matters. Any sensitive issue that is going to come before the mayor is going to take us. It's going to stop at my desk first. Um, and in many ways, Liz, I think we wear two hats here. We are legal counsel, but you never forget that we're in a very political environment. So right. whenever we make our decisions, it's not in a vacuum. It's in the context of this political bubble that we live in. And to your question about, well, what's the difference between you and the law department? Well, again, I'll go back to my analogy. The, it's sort of the difference between White House counsel and the Department of Justice, right? We have different clients. Uh, the Department of Justice's client is the United States. Uh, the White House Counsel's client is the president. Similarly, our client is the mayor of New York City and senior personnel in City Hall. Um, and the law department's client is New York City. And for, for lawyers, they understand that. For lay people, I think it's a little harder to understand. But that yeah. is, um, since I think most of our audience is comprised of lawyers, I think they'll understand.